With all of the emerging technology on our horizon, I think it's important for all of us to have an awareness and understanding of what is going on in the world of energy. There are still people out there that think some white hat militia is going to come and take our country by force. This doesn't mean that such a group doesn't exist. They do, but they have their jobs to do and we as a civilization have our job to do if we are going to accelerate our evolution. It becomes clearer every day that everything is going to be done by the book. There is no magic wand, and I believe that is what is going to prove to half of the country that what is happening is fair and honest. All of us have been victimized and we must all be given a chance to contribute to the shift. I think the majority of people don't care how it happens. They just want their med beds, flying cars and replicators, and they want to go along in their happy little lives consuming and not contributing. This is how we got here, guys. The elite consider us useless feeders and parasites on society. Well, we don't need their money to be of use to mankind. Good will always win over evil and we are inherently good, but it's time to step up our game. Many of us have good hearts, but we are anything but selfless. We talk about how we care about people, but we are too consumed with ourselves to ever go out of our way for another. Sometimes not even for the ones we believe we love. The shift that you will be hearing about involves this tendency of people. This is who we are trying to reach. I can tell you that selflessness is critical to advancing into the spacefaring society that we want. Not because selfish psychopaths can't attain such a level. They can, but I can tell you that it took many years to remove such powerful beings, and it's not going to be allowed again. Changes have been made so that the Federation will not sit by and watch us be taken over by hostile forces. It's very simple. If we can't evolve in spirit, we won't be taught how to create the devices of higher technology that we all seek. Selfish endeavors just aren't going to work any longer, guys. We need to be co-creators. Not everyone will grow at once, but we need a collective majority, and the others will come along if it is their path. So, in an effort to move your mind beyond what you can see, I'm going to explain the basic dynamics of energy as simply as I can for those that don't have a physics background. It was never my favorite, but boy, if I had known then what I know now. So this video is going to take us back to those physics classes that we all hated for a better understanding of the technology on our horizon and why it is so important for us to become a part of its evolution. If you like my videos, the most important thing that you can do is share them with others. This is grassroots disclosure, and we are all a part of it if we are awake at this point. I've got a link to my store on the store button below the video now, so take a look at some of my one-of-a-kind creations for Christmas and beyond. Lastly, your tips are always appreciated under the three dots below the video and the super thanks button. We're growing so fast, and I hope to get some help next year so I can produce more great content for you. I don't have a production staff, it's one person on her porch feeling wonderful every day to be able to be doing this. Okay, let's talk Nikola Tesla. No discussion of energy would be complete without Nikola Tesla, who lived from 1846 to 1943, and his visionary work laid the foundational concepts for understanding quantum energy dynamics. Mankind has been working to understand the infinite potential of quantum physics for so long. Unfortunately, the Earth and its scientists have not been ready for such understanding, and this is why we are receiving help from more advanced civilizations. Tesla inspired advancements in wireless energy transfer, zero-point energy theories, and revolutionary technologies that continue to shape modern scientific exploration. In fact, Tesla went even further as he is widely quoted as stating that everything is energy. And it turns out, he was right. I'd like you to consider if you really understand this because contemporary theories are proving it to be true. So what do you think Tesla meant by saying that energy is everything? Nikola Tesla didn't use the term quantum field dynamics, but his ideas defined similar concepts. Tesla believed that everything in the universe is connected by invisible energy fields. He thought that energy flows through these fields and can be harnessed if we understand how they work. He believed in vibrations and resonance, 
meaning everything in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency, and by matching those frequencies, we could transfer energy wirelessly. Just as people of matching frequencies are often drawn to each other if they are tuned in. He also believed that there is a limitless energy source in the universe that could power the world if we learned how to access it. My friend Dan Willis is working on this project. He is not aware of a free energy project underway for the world, so I think that many truthers heard that it could be done and assumed that we will have free energy right away. I don't believe this to be so. It can be done as told by whistleblowers from the secret space program who have described ships that create their own power. Entire cities and entire worlds have everything we need to power them if we only understood how. Tesla's vision was that these fields of energy connect all matter, and by understanding their properties, we could unlock unlimited possibilities for technology and energy use. This is what scientists now study in quantum fields, where invisible forces shape the behavior of particles. Tesla Products Products sold under the name Tesla today, such as those from Tesla Inc., the electric vehicle and clean energy company, do not belong to Nikola Tesla's original estate or businesses. After his death, Tesla's belongings, including personal papers and inventions, were sent to Belgrade in 1952 and are now housed in the Nikola Tesla Museum. Tesla Inc., founded in 2003, adopted Nikola Tesla's name to honor his contributions to electrical engineering, particularly his work with alternating current AC power systems. However, the company has no direct financial or operational ties to Nikola Tesla's estate. Additionally, various products utilizing his theories are available through Amazon and other sources. Also, I've done videos on a couple of the products that I will link at the end and in the description. Everything is energy. When we say everything in the universe is connected, it means that all matter, energy, and forces interact through invisible fields and forces. For example, Atoms and particles are bound together by electromagnetic forces, creating everything from air to stars. Gravity connects planets, stars, and galaxies across vast distances. Energy fields, like the magnetic field or Tesla's idea of cosmic energy, flow and interact with matter, influencing how things move or change. Even light and radiation travel across space linking events billions of years apart. This interconnectedness suggests that nothing in the universe exists in isolation. Every piece of matter or energy affects and is affected by the rest. Let's take that concept to Earth. So how does this concept jive with physical matter that we can see and touch like perhaps our bodies or even our car? Well, these fields do affect physical matter like your car or your body by influencing how the tiny particles that make them up behave and hold together. Here's how it works. Electromagnetic fields. Atoms in your body and your car are made of particles like electrons and protons, which interact through electromagnetic forces that keep the electrons orbiting the nucleus of each atom, giving matter its structure. Electromagnetic forces also make the surface of the car feel solid to you because they prevent the atoms in your hand from passing through the atoms of the car and merging with it. Gravitational fields. Gravity pulls on all matter, including your body and the car, anchoring them to the earth and giving them weight. Quantum fields. But deeper down, particles like electrons and quarks inside atoms arise from invisible quantum fields. These fields fill all of space and determine the properties like mass and charge of the particles that make up physical objects. For example, the Higgs field gives mass to particles, allowing your car and your body to exist as solid objects instead of just energy floating around. We are not only flesh and bones, guys. We are first tiny energy sparks which create the flesh the bones and the atoms which form them through a force field. These fields act as the unseen forces and frameworks that shape the physical world, making everyday objects like your car or your body stable and tangible. 
Wild, isn't it? This is how all matter works and how your body can be healed without invasive procedures or drugs that often do more harm than good, by changing the quantum energy field to rearrange your body. We've heard about med beds and other quantum technologies that use holographic projection. Holograms are created by manipulating light waves, a type of energy, to produce a three-dimensional image. So it all is energy, guys. The question then begs to be answered. Can we change the energy fields around us, and will the exposure to these newer energy fields heal us? Let's discuss our energy field and that of others and its affect on our health. Changing the energy fields around us is possible, and exposure to certain energy fields could have healing effects, depending on how they interact with the body. Here's how it works. 1. Energy fields and the body. The human body already interacts with natural energy fields, such as the Earth's electromagnetic field and the bioelectric fields generated by our cells. Cells communicate and function using electromagnetic signals, so external energy fields can influence cellular activity, potentially aiding or disrupting healing. 2. Changing energy fields around us. Technology devices like PEMF, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, which use controlled energy fields to stimulate healing by influencing cell regeneration, reducing inflammation, and improving circulation. Our environment, practices like grounding, walking barefoot on the earth, expose the body to the earth's natural electric charge, which promotes healing and reduces stress. Future potential advanced technologies such as med beds harness energy fields such as electromagnetic, scalar, or quantum fields to align with the body's natural frequencies and optimize healing processes. 3. Specific frequencies resonate with the body's natural energy, improving balance and stimulating repair, as seen in sound therapy or light therapy. Please review my video on solfeggio frequencies which will be linked at the end and in the description. Quantum energy. Emerging discoveries suggest that quantum fields could reprogram cells, restoring damaged tissues, and even reversing aging or disease, but we still have much to learn. This is the portal of understanding that is propelling us forward. Biofield science. The human biofield and energy field surrounding the body can also be modulated through newer technologies or spiritual practices to restore health and harmony. Current science clearly supports the idea that energy fields influence health, but further research and development are needed to fully harness the capability for profound changes in our world. While med beds will hopefully be much sooner, we will be evolving over time with help from our star family. Many have predicted that the shift to galactic access should be by 2030. We'll see, but until then, I want you guys to understand that it is critical for you to slow down and tune in to the energy within and around you. It's amazingly powerful, and it is yours now. The more aware and connected to source energy, the more your role will be in the future, no matter what your age. So if you want to help with med beds, as a healer or a mentor, search for the energy. It will pull you to it if you let it.